So we're going to talk about the clinics in just a bit. But first, I want to show you this map of states with coronavirus cases. There's a new addition tonight, Maryland. Three cases were confirmed in Montgomery County. That's right outside of D.C. But we are focusing on facts, not fear. Major businesses in Seattle asking thousands of employees to work from home. A cruise ship is being held off the coast of California after a former passenger died from the virus. A couple of passengers are now showing symptoms and another tough day for the markets. The Dow closing down nearly 1000 points. Now back to those local children's clinics. As I mentioned, they're suspending walk in patients for now, but those kids can still be seen. Angelo Vargas explains his story all new at 11. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friend. Happy birthday to you. Doctors at the Children's Clinic are doing more than just washing their hands to stay protected from the coronavirus. We are suspending those walk-in hours for all of our offices. The walk-in suspension notices are posted online and on their front doors. Children's Clinic President Dr. Margaret Blanchard says they have four offices across Hampton Roads. During peak flu season, they can see 10 to 20 walk-ins a day. We're not trying to be unavailable as pediatricians. We're just trying to say, look, this is a much, much safer way to do it when we know that we have things that look identical to colds and flu. And the big difference here is the travel history. And we have to really be able to screen for that before we want you walking in the door. Blanchard explains they are prepared for the flu but not the coronavirus. So we have not been able to get any N95 masks, unfortunately, because um, even as far back as six weeks ago or so, or even maybe two months ago, we were unable to get them due to the lack of supply. Blanchard mentions when parents call, they will be asked where they have traveled. That will decide if they will be seen or tested for the coronavirus. And Angelo is following this story from the newsroom tonight. Angelo, this, this suspension doesn't start immediately, right? Well, Philip, the suspension walk-in starts in next sat next Monday, actually, March 9th it starts, and their phone lines will be ready. Philip. All right, Angelo, thank you for that. A lot going on here. There's the looming anxiety of coronavirus, of course, right in the middle of a rough flu season already. And what's after flu season? Allergies. So let's talk about the differences in the symptoms here. For coronavirus, you look for fever, cough, and trouble breathing. Symptoms usually show up anywhere from two days to two weeks after exposure. For the flu, fever and cough are also an issue, but you're also going to get muscle aches, fatigue and weakness, also chills and sweats, congestion, even a sore throat. Then there's allergies. That's the sneezing, itchy eyes, and a runny or stuffy nose.